Hello everyone, Hamel here with a daily market update. First a quick disclaimer. Okay, so I'm going to have another daily market update, even though I said I may not have it every day because I'm going to, so tomorrow, between tomorrow and day after tomorrow, I'm going to reallocate my 401k money back to cash just because I see further downside and I'm not very, I'm very uneasy about this market. Let's just put it that way. I have been referring to that for a while. I'm going to do that in uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow. I probably reallocate from a large cap growth fund and the social responsible fund, which is uh, one, one of them tracks closely spiders and the other one queues. And then uh, the third one is tracking, I believe, IWM. So I will be doing that as well on any update in IWM or if I see further weakness. So I, I honestly don't feel at this point I can see the run up. So it doesn't always have to melt up. It can just go sideways, tighten up, and then can just taper down, like, you know, just can go this way. So we'll, we'll see. I'm, again, I'm not calling it top. I'm just protecting my profits. So as we can see, spiders, uh, down day, flat, but it opened up higher, as we can see, and then it was sold into pretty much the entire day. Let's look at uh, queues. Again, pretty flat, same thing, opened up and then uh, was sold into, did better than uh, spiders though. IWM, this said a uh, pretty ugly day. Now, if we pay attention and I, I haven't been at paying attention, I should be paying attention to volume more as well. So we can see all this red bar. So this distribution has been going on for a while. We are probably just noticing this. I have been talking about this. I looked at the weekly chart and I, you know, I could sh see this price action shifting sideways rather than going upwards. So, you know, we can probably see if you look at the hourly chart. This is what I'm looking at. I would probably, we would probably see this uh, go and uh, test uh, this uh, 21 period moving average tomorrow or day after tomorrow. And at that point, I would uh, probably reallocate to cash or. If it breaks through and uh, gives another chance at this green line here, then I would probably, that was my original line to reallocate money. So as you can see, I obviously did not do that at that point. So if it hits again here in this area, I will do it. Or if it uh, tests and fails, then I'll reallocate money to cash. Let's see, the next one is 50. As we can see, further downside here. So it has uh, four down days in a row, which is not normal. Uh, we can see that back here when it corrected almost 11%. Now let's look at uh, Dow, same thing, was pretty flat. ACWI was uh, flat as well, just opened up higher. So what, what can we expect, right? So we need to have a pretty realistic expectation. So the first level of support would be obviously 21. If that gets broken on a high volume, then we can probably see this index has come down to 50 day moving average. Now, you know, last couple of times it cut 50, it undercut 50 and then it bounced back. So we'll let us see what happens this time. It can easily, if uh, 50 is not protected this time, then uh, we can probably see further downside to 200 moving average, which is possible, you know, by all means. So we are looking at uh, probably max downside of 13%, uh, 14%. At that point, we would probably see some support. Again, I don't know if this is just some uh, level of support that we can uh, probably look forward to if that happens. Now, it may not happen. Market may continue to go sideways or continue you know, just have a mild, gentle uh, run up. But that's how I am uh, working on this. In the next couple of days, I will be reallocating back to cash. I will tweet it out. So if you're not following me on Twitter, I would recommend doing that. Uh, I did post my handle in, uh, I believe, one of the videos. And then I'll also on stock creeds. It's, it's I don't create videos intraday. So then I just tweet it out if I take any action. Again, if you're interested, I will highly recommend my handle for Twitter is Hemel Parikh, so H-E-M-A-L-P-A-R-I-K-H-0. So that's my Twitter handle, and I believe that's the same handle for stock tweets as well. I hope all of you are doing well, and you have your own plan about uh, managing your own uh, finances, investments, and trades. 
Take care. Speak to you soon.